Entertainment accounts for almost one quarter of the business, and the showbiz license everyone's talking about is Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park Dinosaurs. What uh, everyone seems to be putting the hat on is, is in the entertainment field, and you don't have to be a genius, Jurassic Park is creating a tremendous amount of excitement. We think uh, Jurassic Park has the potential to be as large as any merchandising movie program that's been out there. Certainly something along the caliber of a Batman, a Star Wars, an E.T. Signs of dinomania could be seen throughout the convention hall as all sorts of dinosaurs, large and small, were giving licensors a blast from the past. Dinosaurs has been a very, very intriguing property for the last couple of years, actually. Jurassic Park has blown it up into mega proportions. But not everybody at the show was scared of these prehistoric heavyweights. Take the heavyweight champ of the world, who is plugging his new clothing line. I don't think the dinosaurs have given me much trouble, but um, I'm going to try to give them a run for their money. Or real-life comic book hero, Mr. T. Is it like them little dinosaurs and things, you know, they just, that's TV stuff and they're real, you know, they can't go in the neighborhood, you know, Mr. T can. And what about Meteor Man, a character from Robert Townsend's next film? Well, dinosaurs are cute, but that's, uh, we're talking 65 million years old. Uh, this, is, this is a new time. I don't think we need to go back. I think we need to go forward. Former astronaut Buzz Aldrin had an out-of-this-world time promoting the 25th anniversary of his moon landing. While a number of familiar faces like Zorro, Tom and Jerry, Dennis the Menace, the Coneheads, and the Pink Panther are ready to jump to the big screen while retailers and merchandisers look for the safe bet. The current Stone Age craze could help the Flintstones movie make major Dino dollars. With Jurassic Park and with all the other dinosaurs that are around today, ours is recognizable in the world.